Have you ever paused to wonder how are rocks formed? They might seem static and unchanging, but beneath their stony exteriors lies a dynamic story of Earth's incredible processes. Let's dig in and uncover the fascinating ways these foundational pieces of our planet come into being, from fiery depths to slow sediment. Igneous rocks. Imagine deep inside the Earth, where temperatures are incredibly high. Here, rock is melted into a molten substance called magma. Sometimes, this magma pushes its way up towards the surface. If it erupts from a volcano, it's called lava. As this magma or lava cools and hardens, it forms igneous rocks. Think of volcanic rock, like basalt or granite found in mountain ranges. The speed of cooling affects the crystal size. Slow cooling deep underground creates large crystals, while fast cooling at the surface makes tiny ones or even glassy textures. Let's talk about grinding and gluing. Sedimentary rocks. Now, picture mountains and land being constantly worn down by wind, water, and ice. This process is called erosion. Bits of rock, sand, mud, and even tiny pieces of dead plants and animals are carried away by rivers and wind, eventually settling in layers at the bottom of oceans, lakes, or deserts. Over vast stretches of time, more and more layers pile up, pressing down on the layers below. This intense pressure, combined with natural cements like dissolved minerals, glues these particles together, forming sedimentary rocks. Sandstone, limestone, and shale are classic examples, often revealing fascinating layers and fossils within them. Let's get pressured and heated. Metamorphic rocks. Our third type of rock starts its life as either an igneous or a sedimentary rock, but then it undergoes extreme transformation. Imagine rocks buried deep within Earth's crust, subjected to immense heat from nearby magma or intense pressure from tectonic plate collisions. This heat and pressure don't melt the rock, but they change its internal structure and mineral composition, effectively morphing it into a new kind of rock. Metamorphic rocks like marble or slate, let's consider the endless cycle, the rock cycle. It's important to understand that rocks aren't static. They are part of an ongoing interconnected process called the rock cycle. An igneous rock can be weathered into sediment, forming sedimentary rock. A sedimentary rock can be buried and undergo heat and pressure to become metamorphic rock. A metamorphic rock can melt into magma and eventually cool to become igneous again. This cycle takes millions, even billions of years, constantly recycling Earth's materials. Let's appreciate their diversity. From the dark, dense basalt of ocean floor to the sparkling, layered schist of mountain peaks, rocks come in an astonishing array of colors, textures, and composition. Learning about rock formation isn't just about geology. It's about understanding the deep history and continuous evolution of our home planet. So, how are rocks formed? They are born from fire, as magma calls igneous, from countless bits compressed and cemented together sedimentary or transformed by immense heat and pressure, 